welcome to the microphone, Fernando Lopez. My speech is one page long. <laughs> Some of you know me as the Love Warrior, but my name is Fernando Lopez, and I am here to recruit you! I'm going to introduce you to another Fernando Lopez, my father. Give him a round of applause. My father is from Mexico and moved to the United States and worked in the fields in the times of Cesar Chavez. He served in the military during Vietnam and he's a wonderful and amazing man. And I would also like to introduce my mother, Ellen Lopez. She is Jewish, she is teacher, she is a breast cancer survivor and she is a lesbian. who has been with her partner for 14 years and did not marry while it was legal and does not currently have the right to marry the person that she loves. And it is I fight for her. The loss in the Supreme Court today was a devastating blow, yes. Which is why we must continue on this battle in this long struggle for full civil equality. We, you, the us is out there. All of us are love warriors, and we are all needed. For this reason, know that our differences cannot be divisive, and hold that there is dignity in our distinct diversity. This is our day of decision. We must all decide to cause a crystal clear resolve and focus on where our commonalities in consciousness converge. To continue on as the creative and colorful community that we are. We are here now and we have always been here. We were slaves and suffragists. We were in Germany's concentration camps and California's internment camps. We have marched on Washington and worked in the fields. We are active duty service members and we are anti-war activists. We are faithful and secular, big labor and small business. We are bears and bros. We are leather dykes and sucker moms. We are biracial, binational, heteronormative and genderqueer. We are lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersex, questioning, asexual, and allies. All of you here tonight constitute an army of love warriors. Driven by passion and fueled by hype, by hope, fighting through a field of misinformation and lies. Yet even now, in the dusk, and the shadows of Proposition 8. As the light seems to fall and fade into the distance, our eve of justice is today. And we know that tomorrow, like the Phoenix, the light and we will rise again! Standing on the shoulders of giants, we will reclaim our equality! The fight will not be easy, and many say that change comes in time. But time alone does not change anything. It is you, your personal stories, your reasons, your families, your lives. You are the cause, San Diego. Be the cause. Be the cause of making a difference. Be cause for hope. Be cause for love. Be cause that creates change. 
Be the pebble cause that creates ripples that become waves and let a tsunami of enlightenment wash away the discrimination that is still left in this country. Today we mourn, but tomorrow we march on. And we must continue the conversation and knock on every door and tell every neighbor who we are. We must continue to tell our co-workers and our congregations why we value love and commitment. We must keep on coming out in new and creative ways. We must continue to fight for love over hate, equality over discrimination, and families over divisive politics. Last year, the voters in this state told us that our families were not equal. They said, no, you can't. And today, the courts affirmed that vote and told us, no, you can't. But we will not be silent, and we will continue on, because when others tell us, no, you can't, we will answer back in one voice. Yes, we can! 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 Thank you, San Diego, march on! The work, the work ahead toward marriage equality will be done here in San Diego and in Los Angeles and in San Francisco and Sacramento and Fresno, in Pinkersfield and Banner, from Beverly Hills to Borrego Springs. Please welcome from Equality California, Regional Field Director Jacqueline Palmer.